Welcome, my fellow Geminis. Um, this is your April 2024 reading. Um, we are doing it a little differently for April. I'm going to use two decks for the main spread. Um, we're going to take a line of the Psychic Tarot and then a line of the Tarot of Dreams and the line of the Psychic Tarot and so on and so forth. Um, you know, we'll, until we get what we're looking for. So we're going to use those two cards. We're going to use Mother Mary for our words of wisdom. Um, this is an oracle deck. And then we'll clarify or go deeper with the Tarot of Dreams. Or I'm sorry, the Gilded Tarot. Um, this is going to be for Gemini Sun, my fellow Gemini Moons, um, Gemini, Gemini Rising Ascended. Uh, some of you definitely were guided to this reading. And I have to say, Gemini, your reading is the third reading I'm doing for April. And you are all through Aries and Taurus, especially Taurus's reading. You're all through it. So uh, some of you may tie back to one of them um, or both. Who knows? Uh, so anyway, yeah. Yeah, you're definitely showing up in other people's readings this month. Um, but I feel like it's a good thing you're showing in a positive light, by the way. Um, so let's just go ahead and get into the reading, guys. Uh, let's start with Mother Mary. Get our words of wisdom. And then we will get into the main spread. Uh, these are very detailed readings. So they do take time. And... Um, I hope that you can stick around to the end because I feel like that's where all the magic happens. Um, like Taurus is, I, you know, I literally put a comment and I said, you know, try to stay till the end because, man, in a blink of an eye, in a blink of an eye, things can change. And they did. And, um, and I know that can happen. That's my life. So, anyway. Let's go ahead and begin, Mother Mary, for Gemini, we have honesty. And we're going to read this at the end of the, we'll read from the book at the end of the reading, but we have honesty. I am in touch with my true feelings regarding this situation. I am in touch with my true feelings, or I'm being honest with myself. You know, wherever I need to be honest, and sometimes it's hard to, you know, truly be honest with yourself. I could talk about, like, if I've given other people so much of my time, um, but I'm not, you know, it's not coming back to me in any way. I need to be honest, right? I just need to be honest with myself. All right, but we'll read that from the book at the end. I'm going to go ahead and bring the lid down. And, um... We're going to start with the Psychic Tarot, so let's move this over. Everything's pre-shuffled, just so you know. But I will give it a couple shuffles for you. Gemini. I was going to do your reading live, um, but I'm having an issue with my camera as it relates to going live on YouTube. So I'm going to try to figure that out today. And then, um, if nothing else, we'll just go live for question and answers. Um, I don't even know what today is. I think it's Wednesday. So maybe tomorrow, maybe sometime tomorrow. All right. Um, and I also want to let you know for, I used to have a membership program. I did cancel it because I wanted to change it. Um, so I'm starting, I did start it back up. And one of the cool features that allows you to do is allow your members to have early access to your videos. And I like that, you know what I mean? Because I mean, they're playing, they're paying a membership fee. Um, and then it's released to the public um, after a certain period of time. So, all right, we have the seven of cups flipped itself around in the deck. Makes me feel like there's a decision to be made. There is a cup to be chosen. It says choose wisely. You know, no, you know, no, uh, no stress there. <laughs> hmm. We have the eight of swords. That may be why. You know, it, it definitely feels, and by the way, seven to the eight, 78. 
Um, but it definitely feels like, you know, there's a ball in your court, so to speak. And, you know, uh, do you have to make a decision about something? Maybe you don't have to, but I feel like if I don't, then maybe I'm I'm kind of stuck in this Eight of Swords energy. Here it's called Trapped in Fear. I call it a self-created prison. Um, and the good news with that is because it's self-created, I can uncreate it. It can be where, you know, if I if I'm trying to make a decision about something, my past is definitely having an effect on my present day decisions. And we want to know that, right? Because this could be something that could be very valuable. Um, could be love, could be money, could be whatever it's going to be. But in the Eight of Swords, it makes me a little nervous that, I don't know, hmm, that you allow yourself to have a new beginning. And, you know, an eight is about a new beginning. That's what eight really symbolizes. It's also the number of infinity. As above, so below. No beginning, no end. So, somebody is thinking or would like to give themselves a new opportunity, a new beginning. Um, this could be moving away from someone or moving towards someone. But the Eight of Swords is the only thing right now because the Fool says take a leap of faith. Take a chance. You know, that's what life is about. Um, it could be an exciting new adventure that you just have no clue yet. In the full, I'm kind of giving away, you know, I'm going to live in that present moment. And I also want to say, when you think of the full, this is when I'm starting to plant my seeds. And if I don't plant any seeds, which is what I feel the Eight of Swords is doing, not planting any seeds, then chances are I will not have a harvest in the fall. So the fool is like, enough of that. Enough of that. Free yourself. Make a decision. Take a chance. Take a chance on you. Take a chance on me. Take a chance on you. We have wisdom. This is the Hierophant, Heart of Taurus. And then, well, hello. Movement, choices, and decisions. And this is the two of pentacles. And, and I have to tell you, I feel like this is saying when I when there's a decision to be made, but I, but it like I feel chaotic, like I, I there's so much uncertainty, then I do feel like you go to a quiet space and sit with yourself, you know, ask yourself, like, what is it that I would like? in my life how would i like my life to look and it doesn't have to mean i'm changing like everything about my life some of you maybe you are um and i often feel the full you know it's beginning down a new path and again it can just be one element but i feel like ultimately it probably does change your life um but i feel like in a very positive way because the full is sitting right next to the hierophant which is all about your belief system, you know, and I feel like that's what it's saying to you. Um, you need to believe in yourself. You need to be able to take these chances, you know, have faith, have faith that your spiritual team will be there right, right, you know, right along with you. So um, I definitely feel like whatever decision is needs to be made I, I feel like the more I can use my logical mind, and that can also mean like getting grounded, you know what I mean? Like taking a walk in nature and as you're walking, just reflect and see what comes to you. Because I feel like, you know, I feel like you have the light here, you know. So anything moving forward, it already looks good. And it is interesting, you have the eight, which is about a new beginning, and then you have a five, which is, about, which is about change. So, some type of change that, you know, any change can be scary. But, at the same time, the fool's like, but I'm going to take a chance anyway. I'm going to, I want to, I want an adventure in my life. Whatever it may be. All right, actually, I want to take this two up here. And let me slide these over a little so you can see them. 
And we're going to take the Tarot Dreams right below that. Let's go ahead and give them a shuffle or two. And let's get some answers. Let's see what this Eight of Swords, why, like why you're in this so-called prison. Um, what is this decision that is hard for you to make? It's interesting now that I look at the Two of Pentacles that is now mirroring the Seven of Cups. Again, it makes more sense to me about using my logical mind, you know, coming from a grounded place, not letting my fears determine what my today and my tomorrow is going to look like. You know what I love about the Eight of Swords, if there's anything to love, is that when you set yourself free, you are free. Now, it doesn't mean like I'm setting myself free from a person, a job, you know, whatever it may be. I just feel like whenever you set yourself free, you are free. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles tells you if, let's say some of you are thinking about starting something new within your career, or maybe something of your own, um, Eight of Pentacles would be a great um, confirmation for you, because it really does talk about, you know, ultimately moving towards the energy of success. Eight of Pentacles says, if you're willing to put the work in, if you're willing to put your focus there, then you're going to grow it. You're going to grow it. You're going to grow it. And in the Eight of Pentacles, with the full, you know, this is like not being afraid to be the apprentice. And what I mean by that is moving in, maybe there's there's a dream I have or something I've always wanted to do, or maybe now I'm just starting getting these epiphanies. Um, what was I going to say? Um, I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say, but I feel like, you know, the Eight of Pentacles does talk about, you know, being willing to walk into something and experience as the apprentice and just knowing that, again, if I put my focus on it, I'm going to grow it. I'm going to learn as I go. I often feel like I don't need a college education for this. Maybe, maybe I have one, um, but I feel like it's, it's beginning Anything new that has to do with your finances, you know, it could be a new avenue that you're adding into an existing, you know, an existing plan and an existing model. Anyway, if I'm wondering, can I be successful? I feel like the answer is you'll never know unless you try. You'll never know. Unless you try. All right. All right. Throw a reverse. I'm going to turn them around. We have the Queen of Wands, our Queen of Action. We have the Nine of Wands. You know, Nine of Wands is about reflecting, reflecting back, looking at different chapters within your life, understanding yourself within them. That's really what the Nine of Wands is about. It's also, I feel like, your spiritual team helping you. Um, and it is about the final reflection. You know, and it's a different way of looking at your life versus the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords, I'm still allowing the past to, again, in a way, predict my future. In the Nine of Wands, what I've realized is through these experiences of my past, how I have really grown. And I feel like the Eight of Swords is like in your thought system. You know what I mean? Like, um, like don't live in regret. You know, if there's something you regret, look at it a different way. Maybe you there was something you learned from that. And maybe that's exactly what was meant to happen. You know, I feel like the person in the Nine of Wands ultimately becomes a spirit warrior. And I feel like it's because they had the courage to look back. But you do want to know yourself in the Nine of Wands. Like, I want to know me. 
I want to know how I am in love. I want to know how I am, you know, like, am I proactive? All that. I want to, and I also feel like this is about ultimately being proud of who you are. You know, so as I reflect back, I'm not judging myself, you know, because my soul came here to have these experiences and some of them were meant to be difficult. You know, I mean, sometimes we run up again, we run, we run into some difficult people, difficult situations, but I feel like there's nothing we cannot get through. All right. Well, hello, Ace of Wands. And how perfect is the Ace of Wands coming after the Nine of Wands? Because again, final reflection, being proud of who I am today, understanding that these past probably difficult experiences have really taught me well. And if nothing else, I know who I am now. And when I know who I am, then I don't need to create these prisons. You know, you have the Nine of Wands with the full right above it, a new beginning. You have the Nine of Wands with the Ace of Wands right on the other side of it, on the right-hand side. It's like inspiration, and look what it's coming from, the Hierophant. Your higher self, your guides, God. And I just love how, you know, again, that final reflection. And then I'm going to close that door. And I'm going to accept this ace. And I'm going to see where it's going to take me. And that this ace, I feel like, ties back to should I or shouldn't I. All right, we have the Ten of Wands. Wow, wow. Like, I feel like, why would I not want this change? And then we have the King of Swords. Can be you. Another Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. By the way, um, Queen of Wands can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it doesn't have to be. You know, it doesn't have to be. Um, and then Taurus with the Hierophant. So interesting because we have the self created prison and then we have the Ten of Wands and then we have that decision making right over that Ten of Wands. So I feel like I've given everything I had, given everything I had, and maybe it's just not enough. Now, when I say not enough, I don't mean for you. What I mean is maybe someone just wants more, 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 more. Why is my screen so dark? Um, and maybe it is this king. Maybe. This king has something to do with the Ten of Wands. All right. Let's keep going. Let's bring in the Psychic Tro again. Um, one of the reasons why I'm doing two decks is I love to look for the synchronicities. Um, and I feel like this is also a great opportunity of like, let's say, uh, I mean, we don't have any cards of love yet, but let's say, you know, it has anything to do with love. Then I feel like it's giving us different perspectives also. Well, speaking of love. Hello, love begins. Ace of Cups. And by the way, there's two people holding on to that cup. It's like two people are creating these flowing waters or they're pouring their flowing waters. Ace of Cups. We have the Three of Pentacles. And then look at this. Nine of Wands, under the Nine of Wands, certainly could talk about two people who have very similar experiences. You know, and that's really what you gain from the Nine of Wands is that spiritual strength. That's why I often call the person in the Nine of Wands, ultimately, if they have the courage to look back and just understand, who am I? You know, how am I in this situation, that situation, um, whatever it may be. 
I feel like, you know, being true, well, Mother Mary says being truly honest with oneself. But I feel like there's also a similarity here where because we do have the Ace of Cups, this could talk about, and then we ultimately have partnerships and alliances, but, you know, and that could, if you just look at the image, you see two, again, two hands, except this is two arms, like, coming together. So we, again, have that energy, but it is mirrored by the Eight of Swords. Do I or don't I? Listen, I feel like if fear is the only thing that's stopping you from jumping into the fool's energy, wherever it may take you, then you really want to look at that. Because I feel like this is a big part of our life's lesson is to learn how to trust our energy versus building these these walls of protection our energy is our protection our spiritual team is our protection we just need to listen you know what i mean like a lot of times when things like you know we we connect with someone but yet we there's all these red flags but then we ignore them. and that is our choice that's free will damn free will <laughs> um I just want you to jump into the fool's energy. Truth be told. All right, let's keep going. Well, hello, lovers. There you are. There you are. And by the way, you have the Ace of Wands above you. And above that is the Hierophant. Now, this is a head over heart decision. That's the meaning of the card. And I could see that playing out here, right? Do I or don't I? You do have that Ace of Cups. So I know that Ace of Cups is also part of a decision. You know, and listen, maybe I don't even know. Maybe I don't even know yet. Maybe, I, I mean, how could I know that this Ace of Cups is on this new journey? How can I know unless I take that chance? Unless I start to walk down that new path. Harmony. Love. Definitely chemistry. And then last but not least. I'm saying last. We're still going to go back and clarify. Um, we have the waiting game. Interesting because it is mirroring the Ace of Cups. So here's what I want to say about that. And I know, I mean, I know many of you very well. I feel like I know your souls. And you, you'll hear me say all the time, like, I don't feel that we should, like, be waiting for someone. You know what I mean? Like, um, unless there's, like, a really a legitimate reason. But if it's because someone's like, I don't know, I don't know, you know what I mean? Or, you know, because this Ten of Wands makes me feel like you took on the brunt of the responsibility for something. Um, so I feel like if there's anyone in my life just like, I don't know. Okay, well, I know. I know. You just made my decision. Your Your uncertainty is to me the same as saying no and I, this is you talking to them i should clarify that all right let's look at the bottom of the deck what we started with the um psychic tarot so we'll, oh patience divine timing all in divine timing my dear you know temperance is first of all it's a card of sagittarius but it is about its message is about patience um, and trusting in divine timing. Like all in divine timing. But here's another thing temperance is about. You know, it's like your spiritual team saying the things that you cannot control that are outside of your control. Stop trying to control them. It won't get you anywhere. 
you know, maybe I'm trying to control someone else and I want them to be in my life, but they're not playing along. Well, maybe there's someone else. All in divine timing. So I feel like it's saying hand your worry over to God and instead just trust. You know, if you remember that you're a spiritual being having human experiences, then you can jump into that fool's energy so much easier. Then these eight of swords are not created. Why? Because you trust your energy. And that's really is the measure. It, that is really what you're meant to do. You're like, our intuition is our GPS. And it's a gift we were given for this lifetime. It's like that, well, it's like the GPS in your car. You know, I'm going to a brand new town. I don't know anything. I don't know the roads. I'm going to type it in my GPS and it's going to take me there. Fine timing. And then on the bottom of mm, the Troy of Dreams, we have the King of Cups. Can certainly be a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. Cancer, your neighbor. I just wanted to look what's under him with the Four of Pentacles. Makes me feel like this king is grounded. Let's see who's under temperance. Mental conflict. Yeah, you got to let that worry go. You got to hand it over somehow. You, you know, I feel like you've got to like take chances. You've got to take chances because I feel like you know, listen, I can live in that Eight of Swords as long as I want to because it is self-created. And the only one who can uncreate it is you. So I can live in there as long as I want to, but it doesn't feel like a happy place. It feels like quite an anxious place. Or I can hand that, you know, and I feel like a lot of it is about uncertainty. Like now I fear uncertainty because maybe some of the choices I've made in the past didn't turn out so great. But again, what if that was what your spirit wanted to accomplish? Like maybe that is one of your soul's lessons. And that's what the nine, and by the way, nine of wands now right in the middle of your spread. Right? That's exactly what I'm looking at. And what I'm really understanding is the power I have of overcoming. Gemini, you have love begins. You have the lovers. You have the ace of wands. Fool. So I feel like, where are the lovers? Are they in the past? No. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that this can't talk about love that's coming back, but it wouldn't be the love if if this Eight of Swords is created because someone did me wrong. Well, I don't feel like it would be that person. This is about a new beginning. And, you know, how do I know love will work if this is about love? Well, if two people are willing to put the focus there, then it'll just grow and grow and grow. But both, yes, both need to be able to put their focus there. But I can't see why your guides would ask you to, first of all, clear the energy of the past, free yourself from this, this prison, and then jump on the fool's path. You know, the first thing it's met with is the hierophant. Well, to me, that is light. That is your faith. Like trusting in my faith instead of my worry. Okay. Let's bring in the Gilded Chiron. And, you know, I have to say it's very clear to me why Mother Mary brought out honesty. And, um, you know, I'm not saying on this fool's journey the only thing is love. Because this can also talk about your finances, creating businesses, you know, and this is a great year to do it. Don't forget that, you know, we're in a universal year eight and it is a great year to like bring those epiphanies or those ideas that maybe I've held on to 
or, you know, maybe it's a dream. I always wanted to have my own business or I wanted to work in this field. Then I should start following that. You know, even if it's just baby steps, I feel like your guides are going to help, help you. They're going to help you. And if it's relating to love, the love is coming in the light. I feel like some of you have been waiting for someone in it, you know, to make a decision of whether the two of you will be together or not. And I want you to hear that statement. Someone else is making the decision of whether the two of you will be together. Someone else. Well, you know, I feel like the answer is either yes or no. And if there is no answer, it's a no. That's just how I feel right now. And I'm being a little cocky, but I, I almost feel that energy. Like, you know, like I feel some of you are going to break free uh, from that Eight of Swords. And I feel like once you break free from that Eight of Swords, I just feel like your life changes. Your perspective changes. Your perception changes. All of that. Your faith shows itself like, wow. Okay. Come on. All right. Well, look at this. We have the five of swords. So this does talk about toxic energy. Other people's toxic energy. But if I don't move out of it, I may just become one of the statistics. I may also be part of that toxic energy. You know, it is a five. So it doesn't want you to stay in it. And it's interesting because I do feel like for a few of you, I do feel like you're waiting for someone else to give you a yay or a nay. Now, listen, people have a right to take their time. I don't mean it like that, but I mean like if someone blocks you or ghosts you or that type of, the, to me, that's a no. Like, or I feel like it's you, hopefully, saying adios. All right, look at that. And then we have the five of wands. Wow. I mean, what am I fighting for? What am I even fighting for? Five of Wands does speak about a lot of ego. Um, and it is, you know, people arguing, people fighting. Um, you know, it's interesting because in the Five of Wands, I often feel if these people could just like turn around and work together. Then they'd get some things accomplished, but instead they're just fighting. And I also feel like if I'm waiting for someone to apologize for their actions and I don't get that, then again, that feels like an answer. Especially with these two fives here. Change. Coming over an eight, a new beginning. But this new beginning is for you. And I do feel like you're leaving ultimately someone in the past but I don't know what they brought to you anyway except hardship heartache anxiety you know and I often feel too in the five of wands like if I'm waiting for someone to like apologize for their actions especially sitting next to the five of swords that toxic energy I got to be okay with probably not getting that apology but listen, again, as you start in this new journey, this energy, I feel like the day will come where you're just going to be like, I don't need an apology from that person. I just don't want that person. But let's keep going. We have the Hermit. Heart of Virgo. Um, that's about your spirituality. You know, and what a better way of really dealing with life. You know, the hermit goes within, 
and and seeks those answers, but trusts the guidance that the, that he or she is receiving. You know, I'm looking for the light. And ultimately what I'm figuring out is I am my, I am the light. Like if I'm looking for a savior, I can save myself. And I feel like when I look at my experiences through a spiritual lens, then I can really see my spiritual growth. Even if I got stuck for a while, that's okay. Don't judge yourself. Just know yourself. And then ultimately, this person in the hermit's energy is shining that beacon of light outwardly. And I just kind of love that it's coming over the Hierophant's energy. You know, it may, ta- it may ask you to take a better look at your faith, your belief system. And it could simply mean because I'm giving my power away. I'm giving my time away. Some of you, I feel like I'm giving my life away. Hmm. Seven of Swords. Interesting because look at the Hermit's Beacon of Light. Illuminate. Oh, that's a page of swords. Illuminating this page. Hmm. Interesting. There's the Seven of Swords. Interesting how I thought that was the Seven of Swords, but I had the Seven of Swords in my hand. Huh. Wow. Gemini. This is coming from love, but I want to say that I know that there must be a few who are waiting on a response from someone who I do not feel deserves your energy. Like I'm just seeing, you know, that eight of swords, of course I understand why it's there. You know, and I feel like there is a lot of anxiety in that energy. Um, And it may be like, you know, I I question not only, you know, not only do we fight and maybe we fight, maybe this, these fights were over, you know, I didn't know if I could trust someone. I feel like you were probably right. Now, this is, this isn't just any old one. For some of you are like, oh my God, are you telling me my... My person's cheating. I'm saying the person that I feel like is carrying the untrustworthy energy is also carrying a lot of toxic energy and a lot of ego. That's what I'm saying. And I feel like you should be able to pick that out. Like you should know who I'm talking about. Um, And if you don't know who I'm talking about, then no, I don't feel like it's someone that you're connected with cheating. But definitely, you know, be honest with yourself. That's all. Um, I kind of love the page of swords over the Hierophant that is mirroring the lovers. So this could certainly be communication. A lot of swords up there. All right, well, let's keep going. You know, the Nine of Wands, the person in the Nine of Wands is looking back at this Queen of Wands. And yes, it can represent Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I have to tell you, I feel it's more about energy. Um, because she is the intuitive Queen. She is a Queen of Action. And she has the Ace of Wands right in line with her. So I feel like intuitively this is saying, like, when you're able to, like, trust in your spiritual team, let's say, and the signs and your own intuition, then I feel like then you take on the energy of the Queen of Wands. And that just means Queen of Action. Like, I'm not going to allow myself to continue to stay trapped for another who probably doesn't deserve me anyway. All right. Well, hello, Knight of Cups. So that's exactly what I was feeling. Like, I was feeling like once you jump in that fool's energy, you don't know that this Ace of Cups is out there. You may start to feel it. You may hope that it's out there. But it literally is out there. But I don't feel like you know that. 
And I don't feel like that would be the reason why I make these changes. I, I literally feel like I reflect upon my life. I reflect on the people that I give my energy to and who deserves it and who does not. And if someone is like, you know, ghosting me and or cheating on me or what have you, like no more, no more, no more. I deserve so much better. Now, you also have to think about where your vibration is at because that's what you're going to bring back to you. That's another reason to set yourself free. But anyways, Knight of Cups, unexpected couple fulfillment. Unexpected cup of fulfillment. We have the Page of Wands. Interesting, we have the Queen of Wands with now the Page over it. So this could certainly talk about younger energy. Um, and by the way, you know, when I'm saying like I'm waiting for someone, um, I feel like that's the one who hopefully, at least I'm hoping, goes. And then I feel like, you know, there could be someone that you know from your younger years that could reach out. And I'm only saying that because there's two pages and also the page over the queen of the same suit. But also this page is like my foal. This is my risk taker. This could be calling. And, and by the way, I feel the majority of you are the queen of wands, even though you're heir. I still feel that you're carrying this, or you could carry this energy. Again, the queen of action, the queen who trusts her intuition, and then the page over that, my risk taker. Taking a chance. We have the hangman over the nine of wands. And then, hello, knight of swords. Interesting. So we go from the page of swords to the knight of swords. It's like this communication is just coming closer and closer and closer to the lovers. Hangman is kind of like a pause in the action. But maybe it was needed. Um, because I feel like it's, it's being mirrored by all these nines. There's a nine under it, nine of wands, nine of wands, and the hermit up here, also a nine. So it's like the final reflection. And then it's time to move. You know, the hangman is swaying towards this ace of wands. So I feel like ultimately I do want that ace. But the hangman is also seeking wisdom for his or her next steps on this physical plane. Well, it's kind of beautiful that the hermit is above there with the beacon of light shining outwardly. That tells me that I'm able to find those answers. Not just find them, but then move into, who knows? I feel like it just feels so much more spiritual now. Like here I feel it's all earthly like, you know, like my mind, anxiety, my thoughts. And I do feel like it's a lot of it's because of others. However, I got to break free from that. I've got to find a way to break free from that. Um, I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to wait. If, you know, someone wants to be with me, then, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to know myself. And, and just by knowing yourself, I feel like that alone raises your vibration. And I feel like that's what the hangman is doing. And then I think there's movement. So it's interesting. Some of you may be thinking of someone. And I'm not talking about over here. Let's just let that be. You may be thinking of someone. They may be thinking of you. Um, you know, because to me, a page is, if it's not younger energy, it's what's in the atmosphere. It's energy I can start to pick up on. You know, I can just get this feeling. And then it moves right into the night. So if you think about a night, a night is going to complete their mission. A night is sent by the king or the queen. Well, we got the king right here. And... I am going to complete my mission. So this communication um, 
if it is communication, and I do feel like, you know, is it spoken word, written word, could be any of the above. I'm not going to like, you know, especially with temperance here, just going to go with the flow. Um, but it does feel like it moves from like, like what's in the atmosphere to the actual ring ring, so to speak. And this Knight of Cups is coming into the reading. All right, let's keep going. Wow, another night. Holy cow. Now, I say holy cow because this Knight of Wands is mirroring the Knight of Cups. So this unexpected couple fulfillment, well, it also carries passion, desire. So it tells me that, you know, it's almost like being swept off your feet. Like, I feel like get ready to be swept off your feet. But first and foremost, I feel like it, that's why it's even more important that I jump into the fool's energy, the new beginning. And again, it doesn't have to be all elements of your life. I just feel like whatever is not working, maybe it's time to put it to bed. And allow what wants to come in to come in. I feel like you are going to be swept off your feet. Huh, the chariot over the ace of cups, over what says love begins. Hello. First of all, card of cancer. Um, but I feel the chariot is a reward for finding balance in one's life. You know, it's understanding the light within me, but also the dark within me. It's understanding the masculine within me, but also the feminine within me. And it's bringing all that to balance. Now, as it relates to a relationship, it would tell me the two people are closer to the same vibration, maybe than ever before in your life. Because the chariot does speak about unlimited potential. The only limits on the chariot is what our earthly mind puts upon them. But it's coming over the ace of cups right underneath the Knight of Cups. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. You know, what's funny is uh, the Nine of Pentacles is a very independent type energy. Um, this is the energy where, and listen, for some of you, I feel like there could be new job opportunities coming your way, or you're going to start, you're going to start putting something into action. At least I hope I hope you're going to trust yourself if you have like these goals or these wishes, you know, of like how you want your life to, to be. And listen, this can be two different things. It can be talking about your money um, because the nine of pentacles, especially with the eight of pentacles right there, you know, the willingness to begin something as the apprentice. But in the nine of pentacles, it is success. But it is due to some, you know, it's due to my work. Now. I read it in quite a few different ways because, um, again, I feel like when I feel strong within myself or another way of saying that, well, no, that I want to say that, but also when I feel like I can take care of myself, I feel like I'm able to let go of a lot of worry. It's when I have to put my trust in other people. Um, I don't have a lot of control over that. And that doesn't feel good. So some of you, I feel like not only is this talking about love, but I feel like truly a dream may be coming true where it's like maybe you're starting your own business. Could be a raise. Could be many different things. But it is success. And interesting is coming over partnerships and alliances. It's interesting because I felt this quite like in, um, I don't know whose reading it was, to be honest, but I felt like um, this could talk about two people who do very similar things in life. 
um, and probably both pre-spiritual. You know, I feel like when you break free from that Eight of Swords, your spirituality just jumps off the chart. Why? Because your mind is free. And now the signs are easy to see. I just got to trust them and follow them. And look where it's taking you. Like night and day. Other card, another card of Virgo, by the way. Um, I have to say Gemini and Virgo have been coming up a lot through the readings. And maybe it's because April 1st we go into Met, uh, Mercury retrograde. And both Virgo and Gemini are ruled by Mercury. And I have a Virgo sun, Gemini moon, so uh, I'm already catching the effects of it. But for some of you, it can talk about a Virgo. All right, let's keep going. Look at this, another nine in a line of nines. We have nines everywhere. The nine through the hermit. The nine through the nine of wands, two of them. The nine, the success of the, of the nine of pentacles. Now the nine of swords. I don't love that. And maybe that's what the hangman is waiting for. For you to clear that. You know, it, again, temperance would be the perfect energy for this. Because this is about unnecessary worry. Temperance says don't sit there and worry and worry and worry. Especially if you have no control over it. Let me do that. Give it to me. And go live your life. Don't allow another to put you in this type of energy. If they put you in this type of energy, and ex again, this is a lot of worries, sleepless nights, anxiety. And if somebody else is causing that, that, you know, you've got to be honest with yourself. Because I feel like, again, I don't need to carry this energy. Wow. Wow. So this makes me happy. The three of wands over the lovers. Because this really is a different perspective now. So maybe I did need to spend time just to get some to understand that some people aren't worth the wait. And those who want to be with you, I feel like will be with you. And again, I feel like some of you, you're going to be swept off your feet. This is an optimistic view of your present and your future. But I'm not really putting any restriction upon it. You know, I'm simply saying I trust in divine timing. And I know my ships will come in in their due time. In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy what I'm, what, what's in front of me. And that is the lover's. And you also have the Nine of Pentacles in the same line. You know, money and love. Love and money. All right. Oh. Okay. That's interesting. I'm like, what? I just saw the three of wands. I picked it up accidentally. Look at this. Six of cups. And then the eight of cups. Now it's coming over the waiting game. You know, this certainly could be the energy of like, like some type of communication that comes in maybe from someone that you have um, really cherished memories of, you know, it could be an old friend, um, could be someone you were in a, a relationship with, like, but I would feel like it would be years ago, you know, and I feel like um, almost like it feels like it may be from like your hometown, because I feel like for some of you, like I left my hometown, um, but my lover, you know, that person, stayed behind but I don't feel like it was 
You know, it almost makes me feel like maybe there wasn't an actual love relationship. But maybe it's someone that, um, you know, I also want to say, I feel like for some of you, I feel like you're going to meet someone who reminds you of someone else, but in a very good way. And this could be someone who is no longer on this earth. And that's who they remind you of. But again, in a very good way. Eight of Cups, that's what was needed all along. Eight of Cups is, you know, being daring and taking a look at those cups, the cups that have not have been knocked over, finding clarity within them. You know, I just want to understand why they were knocked over and what was my part in it. And, and a lot of times I feel like our part is sometimes we just stay at the party too long. Right? We give away our power. We We just wait and wait and wait. But I don't feel like anymore. This person's on the go. Some of you may be literally moving back home. And literally reconnecting with someone of your past. Again, it is not this person. There is nothing left here. Not for you. But that's a good thing. And I know it doesn't feel good. But when I don't know what's coming, that's when I have to trust my spirit guides. That's what the fool does, right? The, the fool takes a leap of faith, knowing that if I jump off that cliff, my guides will be there to catch me. And your guides are all connected here. Now, it could be two people's guides helping to reconnect. You know, I feel like sometimes in that Eight of Swords, like sometimes I feel like maybe this, this new Ace of Cups or even new opportunities would have begun sooner. Now, I shouldn't say that because I don't want you to judge yourself, but I do feel like if I don't look at that Eight of Swords, again, because this is really where I'm hiding myself away from the world, or I'm telling the world, you know, there's just a lot of anxiety. Let's just put it that way. And I'm either going to free myself or I feel like it only gets worse. So another reason to really examine that. And from a spiritual lens, again, don't judge yourself. Because some of these are just experiences. Listen, if you dealt with someone in the Five of Swords, the Seven of Swords, You're going to know if someone like that comes towards you again, especially if you're you're really honest with yourself and especially if you clear the energy of the past. Just means I'm no longer going to allow it to have an effect on the seeds that I'm planting for myself today. And if I don't plant any seeds again, I won't have a harvest. And there won't be anybody to blame but me. Get excited about the potential of what can be. Say goodbye to those who just want to hurt you. Those who just keep you hanging on just by hook, right? It's like they got their hook in you. Now, you do whatever you want to do. I'm not telling you what to do, of course. Um, but... Everything feels, I mean, once we get to the fool's energy, it just feels great. Honestly, it just feels great. And again, I don't feel like you know what's going to happen. Listen, you can put those intentions out there. Like, you know, if I want to fall in love again, then I do, like, I want someone. And maybe that's why these, the Page of Swords and... The Knight of Swords is here, um, and Temperance, because if Temperance is helping to bring this together, then you can trust it. You can trust it. All right, but let's read Mother Mary. I feel like it's important. Even though I feel like there's a, di a million different reasons that we see why it came out. But let's read it. So, honesty... Thinking of a song, I think it's a Stevie Wonder song, but I can't think of the words. 
um, you receive this card in answer to your to your question, because Mother Mary sees a need for self-honesty if you are to proceed. What do you have to admit to yourself about your current situation? When you think about it, what feelings arise? Why? It's important to take stock of your emotions and thoughts about anything that confuses or annoys you. Otherwise, you're reacting instead of taking charge. Although the ego is threatened by looking deeper, it's an essential component of healing this situation. This message guides you to take some time to evaluate and understand your feelings. Remember, you are entitled to them, and they are neither right nor wrong. Very often, your feelings are the voices of angels delivering God's guidance to you. Amen. Amen. Those who have freed themselves, you're going to get this. You're going to look forward to it. Those who have yet to do that, you may look at this with a different perspective. But I'm hoping, I feel like my job here today was to help free those who have created these, these prisons and to help you to move into the fool's energy and to get excited about your tomorrow. Yes, I may be saying goodbye to certain people, certain someone, certain energy, but it will only serve me because I feel like I wasn't being treated well anyway. And I've got to know my own worth. And if I don't know my own worth, how do I expect someone else to know it? I feel like you're going to get swept off your feet, Gemini. And I feel like when you get swept off your feet, I feel like very quickly the love begins. It literally says love begins. And I feel like, I just feel like the chemistry will be off the chart. I feel like what an adventure. What an adventure it feels like. It really does. Um, and by the way, you know, I told the, star, the story in Taurus. I'm just going to say it very quickly. Um, you know, the day that Sam and I reconnected 40 years after the fact. That's why I say some of you, it could be literally someone from like your hometown. Um, because he was in our hometown. I was in Rhode Island. And um, it was in really, I just broke up with someone that I was with for 25 years, and um, normally I'm not someone who gets lonely, but I was having a weak moment, and I reached out and I called that person that I had just left two weeks ago, and I was about to invite them over, and all of a sudden my phone, I get a beep. So I told the person, hang on for a second, and then when I answered the phone, lo and behold, it was my first love, really, my first love from back when I was 15. You know what I mean? And yes, like when I see that eight of cups, yes, I left. I, you know, I left Pennsylvania. Um, but here I am now back living in his home. And did I expect any of that? No, not at all. Not even a little bit. But yet it happened. That's what you call divine timing. It's almost like my guides knew, oh my gosh, I, we got to get this going because, you know, I'm not saying the person I was with was a bad person. He wasn't at all. But it was time for it to end. And um, it's almost like temperance. Like, okay, here she is. She's having a weak moment. We need to get in there and, you know, create this magic for her and so they did and so they did all right guys um i loved your reading i'm really praying that this helps set some of you free you know sometimes we think i can't you know what adventure am i going to have in my life well just tell the world tell the universe that's what you're looking for 
but also be ready. You know what else I love about the hermit, though? I, I feel like I need to show you is this beacon, his beacon of light is illuminated in the snake below. And that is exactly what your guides do. You know, that is what your energy is, measures. You know, if there's a snake in the grass, good luck. The hermit's beacon of light will illuminate it for you, so you don't have to worry about it. And I already know there's already one snake in the grass. But this is about moving forward. Okay, I'm going to let that be. I could just go on and on and on. Um, I love you guys. I feel like once you set yourself free, I feel like in divine timing, then you're swept off your feet. And, you know, it's interesting how I started just reading and I said, you know, it doesn't have to mean your whole life is changing. But holy cow, I feel like your whole life is changing. I love you guys. I thank you for every way you support this channel, truly. Um, I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Um, and everyone new who comes in, I feel like you're just joining our soul family. So thank you. Um, and I'm going to let that be. So I will either see you next at the lives, which um, I'm going to work on my camera today. And then uh, so if I do fix it, we'll be going live tomorrow. And that's just for question and answers. You can ask me anything. Um, and I'm usually on there for like four hours. I don't mean to be, but man, time flies. Um, but anyways, um, or I'll see you next time at our table. I love you. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.